What's up, everyone? This is Fang Slash Avia here, coming at you with a new video. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about my first thought on the very critically acclaimed um, God of War 2018. Also known as the God of War reboot, I'm sure people God of War 4. Um, so, yeah. I've been... Uh, broadcasting this game live on my Twitch account, so uh, twitch.tv slash uh, Shadow Wolf Lane 1100. I think I said it right. If not, then well, I'm pretty sure that game easy will poke her head out and 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 uh, put the real name of my Twitch ch account or uh, or confirm if I'm correct. So yeah, if you need here, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and definitely hit that like, and definitely hit that bell button to know and all my up. So, what made me want to play this game finally? Obviously, I've had this game. Um, I'm actually playing it digitally because even though I do have a physical copy, um, it's in Tote of Games. Um, well, not total games. It's in a tote with all my other games that I in my room and all that. So that's why I don't feel as bad of playing. Really, it's just I wish I could, you know, use my copy. It's fine. It's uh, the same game anyway. Um, I've decided to start playing it and also um, do it live on Twitch because. This way, I'm able to, I'm trying to clear up most of my backlog this year as much as possible. And I figured, why not start with that one? Because I um, got a war rag Narok for Christmas this year. So this is a perfect opportunity to, once I'm done with 2018, I can start playing the the newest God of War game. And honestly... The God of War franchise is a franchise I've always wanted to get into. Like, have you guys ever had those games that you know that you like, that you might have played one game of, and you like it, but you never did? There's two game franchises, ironically both being Sony, that is like that for me. One of them being obviously got a war, the other obviously because, you know, the platform. Um so naturally, you know, I've been curious about this game because this is definitely one of the PS4's most popular games. It is definitely one of the games that Um, so I figured, even though in, uh, six years, holy crap, six years, jeez, since the game was first released on 4, I figured I would give you my first thought. Now, I'm not too far in the game, I just made it to the area after you meet the um, Water Serpent. I'm currently making my... And yes, in case people are wondering, yes, I do. But I'm going to wait to do all that. Um, once I'm done with the game. And if there's New Game Plus, for New Game Plus, um, we'll see. But what amazes me about this game so far is the whole dynamic between Kratos and Atreus. And I know I'm virtually Kratos' son, uh, name most likely. Atreus. There we go. 
um, dynamic. Kratos, obviously being, you know, the type of guy he is, pretty, you know, brutal, very, you know, forthright, strong, commanding. Um, he's a very tough as nails father, but he's also very. Obviously, this game takes. They lost. I believe her name is Freya, which was Kratos' wife and the mother to Atreus. And this, and for some strange reason, I've also been playing Giga Bash, and for some strange reason, these two games has a story that deals with someone losing their mother and wife. Which is very... I didn't plan it out like this. It really hits close to home for me. Because... Um, I did lose my mother. Halloween. So... I know I said I, I would have made a separate video. I figured I would just mention it now. When most people and my friends... Anyways, and plus, it's it's been two months. A bit more comfortable mentioning that now. But anyways, back to God of War. Um, and what happens is Kratos' reputation, the Nordic gods, has taken notice that Kratos has because of what he did in with Zeus and all of that. So this stranger comes along and it gets to the and it gets to the point because they are now by the Nordic gods that crap, we gotta leave home. We gotta first things first, we gotta go up to the mountains to spread Freya's ashes. Which is where I'm at currently. Which is the which is the currently um and so far in this game, the story has been really interesting because you're seeing the trick learning how to be a warrior, basically learning how to despite kid and learning how to hunt, fight, survive from his father. You know, this isn't the same Kratos that was super angry at the gods. I mean, here's the thing. He still doesn't trust people, and he still doesn't, you know, he, you know, he still doesn't trust God. Um, but, you know, to, you know, to see him teach his son these things, it is very, a nice angle to Kratos. Now, I know that his creator didn't mention in a video stream or podcast or whatever it was, they didn't like the direction that they Kratos. Um, I can't remember if, if he said 2018 or um, so once again, I'm Chibi Mizu that will tell me then all I gotta say is this it still feels like Kratos but this is Kratos more mature he doesn't need to take revenge anymore there's no need for him to aimlessly go up to Valhalla to get rid of Odin and Thor and all keep in mind I so I don't know if something happens that makes okay well I'm not going to deal with this crap again, so I'm going to do what I did before. But this witch character uh, meets us after we, well, Atreus accidentally shot a warthog with his arrows, and he and she reprimands Cradle for not telling Atreus who he actually is. And what type of blood runs through his veins? And you know, Kratos is probably 
had to protect his son. But the the problem is, is that, you know, obviously in stories like this, a parent doesn't their child about how significant they are, what happens is, someone else does it, the kid gets angry. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's going to go that direction, or if Kratos will finally, or something will trigger that X, will trigger that conversation with Kratos. Um... You know, I love how I love the world is and all that. I love the enemy designs. I love how the combat is. Now, obviously, this combat isn't your old school God of War. I mean, it's still very much combat. But it's not like the older God of War games. It's more fast paced action um with quick time events um but i do think that the gameplay is mainly a evolution of that gameplay style from the god of war trilogy and of course the handheld games um you have this one mode called uh, god rage to where kratos goes ballistic and is and he becomes a lot more stronger, which bosses and mini bosses. I, I I've used it many times and very useful. But with this game being a action RPG, well, taking inspiration from RPG. So you have crafting, which I've never been a big fan of crafting video. It's going to get to the point to where. Is going to level lock me, like difficulty wise, to where like I can't get past a certain enemy because Kratos is too underpowered. You know, I hate that mechanic in video games. You know, that's why. And if you hear a noise, that's uh, one of my. He's fine though, you guys. Hopefully, uh, hopefully. He fine. Isn't that right, Bray? You're a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. You're just laying down on the pillows? Just chilling? Yeah? And of course, no freaking YouTube video or stream of mine could go... Could go without a doggo cameo. In some way, if it did pick him up. Dealing with some allergies and all that. But... Obviously, you can uh, make weapons, armor. You can upgrade your equipment. There's runes and, and and all that, which is kind of your, as you can say, in this game and all that. Um, and what I love about this game is that, keep in mind, 2018 was the year of when game a lot of big games were open this game is still linear but still has brash and path explore find loot and and all that and um and i really appreciate that because even though i love a good open world game even i don't want to play a game for <laughs> what feels like 300 plus hours you know, sometimes I just want to play a long game, or or a thirty-hour long. Game. Um, and it's just weird to see Kratos without his without his iconic weapons from the trilogy, from the PS, well, from the first two God War games on the PS2, and then. But that's why I need to go back to those games. Because I'm sure those games explain it. Um, but going back to the story, 
Oh yeah, the music is fantastic. Uh, Bear McCready um, recorded it, and if I'm correct on this, he also worked on one of the Zula movies from uh, Legendary. I think it was either King of the Mon or uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. So once again, there probably will be a speech bubble here explaining which one he did. But, yeah, like, you know, and I'm also loving the atmosphere of this game, too. And even though that I, I'm only playing for about two hours, I'm glad I'm taking my time with this game. You know, kind of blasting my way through. Um, and something else I find interesting is that Atreus is able to read ancient Nordic runes writing. Now, there's some that he can't read, so obviously that means I have to come back, which I don't mind backtracking in video games. I know that like backtracking, mainly for story, but I don't mind going back and doing some treasure hunting. Um, is that all that I missed? Oh, yeah. And, of course, the voice acting. This is new voice act. Um, he does a great job, even though he... In uh, 2022 for Game Awards. And, of course, you can't go wrong. Boy. So, yeah, I think that's it for my first thought. Uh, once I finish it on stream, which, like I said, if uh, any of you have a Twitch account, just like I said, just should be a link down below with me on this journey to play through this game, then follow me on Twitch. And even though I'm streaming on Twitch, I'm just going to be mainly using um, for our thing now, this is going to be Twitch. So, and one other thing, there will be, it's going to be for my Twitch VODs. So, the first two streams I've done will be um, uploaded to that YouTube channel. So, yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video. See you guys. Man.